when you study WCT or when you simply study wine, uh, you are always taught that the sweet spot for the winemaking and for production is between 30th and 50th latitude north and south of the equator. And that it is very hard to actually uh, successfully make wine in other climatic conditions. And for most of the part, it is true. However, that may surprise you um, uh, today, that you are finding uh, vineyards and um, wine producing regions outside of that zone. So today I will take you to um, Poland, where uh, I will discuss what are the factors needed to aid uh, the uh, grape ripening and to help the production uh, and what to look for in order to make wine in challenging conditions. So when we go to Poland, we have a ter tempered climate, but is it an imperfect climate? No, because we have different climatic influences uh, in Poland. So uh, we do have relatively cold winters and warm summers. Um, and that we have the great influence of oceanic uh, currents from the west and cold polar air from uh, Scandinavia and Russia. Um, so in the south, we also have subtropical air. So all of those influences having the um, uh, sea uh, in the north, a Baltic Sea, having the mountain ranges in the south will influence the uh, climatic conditions uh, in Poland. So, yes, we do have an orderly location, and that means we have less sunshine hours and less warmth for grape ripening, which prompts us naturally um, as the, uh, uh, the uh, winemaking area to produce more of the white grape varieties and to, to produce white wines. But there is a red wine making in Poland uh, as well. The style will be different for, from uh, what you will be experiences in other regions, but I will be talking about it um, in just a moment. So rains can be a severe problem because rain brings us rot. So when you, there is a lot of uh, rain, well, one way to, to, of course, deal um, with the rots is to use the sprays, but be aware, we do have some of the organic and biodynamic producers in Poland. So uh, what is the most important thing to actually um, uh, successfully produce grapes and make wine in cooler climatic condition is the location, location, location. So one of the most important things is actually choosing the perfect spot. If you see the picture um, that's here on the screen, and if you have seen a picture before, you, you see the hilly sides. Uh, in some of the uh, conditions, this is the very, very important thing. Not all, actually, uh, Polish vineyards are on hillsides, but they have other influences. For example, in the north of Poland, we have the uh, sea influence. So the Baltic Sea actually um, um, bring that, uh, brings in that maritime influence. What, what it does, it sort of evens out the temperatures throughout the year. So the winter is not as severe, but the summer is not as hot as it would be in the south of Poland. This picture is taken in a actually in the south of Poland, close to uh, close to Krakow in um, the Mau Małopolska Wojewodstwo, which I will show you on the map later on, is the place where we um, have at the moment uh, the highest amount of vineyards uh, and the uh, producers in Poland. So the aspect will be another very important uh, thing to um, to uh, longer the sunshine hours. So we're looking at the southerly aspects. We're looking um, at the uh, at the inclination uh, as well. So we can have longer sunshine hours throughout the day. 